Hello, pre-calculus students. We continue our lesson on proofs of trigonometric functions. And we have another proof we're doing to right now. This is proving that cosine squared minus, sorry, cotangent squared minus cosine squared is really the same thing as cotangent squared times cosine squared. And uh, once again, with proofs, it's better to, to learn strategies and methods of proof um, so that we can apply them later. Okay, so it's, it's more than just doing this proof. As you're watching this video, please pay attention to the methods and then the ideas that we're using here. Okay. So I'm going to start this proof with the, with the left-hand side. Okay, so step one, cotangent squared of x minus cosine squared of x. Okay, this is my left-hand side, and my reason here is that it's a given. And I'm going to use some trig identities and some properties of algebra to somehow show that this statement is really equal to this statement on the right-hand side. So in my next step, I'm going to convert cotangent squared to cosine squared divided by sine squared. Okay. And my reason here is that this is the definition of cotangent. So cotangent is really uh, cosine over sine. So if you square cotangent, what you're really doing is just squaring cosine and squaring sine. And then here's kind of one of the key parts of the, of the proof is to somehow uh, combine these two terms together. So I have a fraction and a regular term, so I'm going to find a common denominator. Okay. And that's really um, sort of the key strategy here in this particular proof is to use the same uh, denominator. So, and the common denominator in this case is sine squared x. So I have cosine squared, and I'm going to multiply that by sine squared over sine squared. And this is also very similar to multiplying by 1, because sine squared over sine squared is, is also 1. But it's a little bit easier in this case, because we kind of know we already have a denominator to work with. Okay. So this is really just um, finding a common denominator. So I'm going to combine everything uh, on the right side here together. So now I have cosine squared x over sine squared x minus cosine squared times sine squared, all of it over sine squared. And I'm going to, since now that I have everything in the uh, same denominator, I can combine them together to make one fraction. This and I have cosine squared minus cosine squared sine squared. All of it divided by sine squared. Okay. And these this is uh this is simplifying And then this is a subtracting, you know, a fraction. And here, if you notice, I have a cosine squared and a cosine squared, so I'm going to factor that out. Step six, we're going to factor out cosine squared. And what I have left in here is negative 1, sorry, positive 1, minus sine squared. All of it over sine squared. Okay, so this is factor cosine squared. Now, just be careful about this. Sometimes it's, it's helpful to factor it out. 
uh, sometimes it's not it's not helpful and again this is these, these strategies uh, you see them more often and you get a better understanding for when to use uh, each type. Let me just erase this plus sign here. I feel like it's getting in the way. Okay. So before we go further, I just want to remind everybody about the Pythagorean identities that we have um, at our disposal that we can use. And you can see that one of the Pythagorean identities that we have, in fact the first one right here, says that cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. So we kind of rework this identity. I can subtract uh, sine squared from both sides. So I can say that 1 minus sine squared is equal to cosine squared. Okay, And that's from taking this Pythagorean identity and doing an, a little bit of algebra with it. Okay. And once we do this, you can see that Th this expression here in the proof that we're working on is the same as what we have here. So we can substitute cosine squared in here. Okay. Now again, it's, it's, top, it's hard at first to see these, but this, this is something you have to work on and the more you do it, um, the, more, the more you struggle even with this, uh, the easier it will be in the long run to identify this, to see this as really a rewriting of the first Pythagorean identity. Okay, so I am going to continue this proof, and this entire expression right here, I'm going to replace it with cosine squared. Okay. So in my next step, I can say that I have cosine squared times cosine squared, cosine squared of x times cosine squared of x all of it divided by sine squared. And my reason here is the Pythagorean identity. And it's the, the first identity in this case. The, this, is the, this is the identity that I used right here, the, the first one. Okay. And the reason that I'm doing this is because if you notice in my original proof, um, what I was trying to show in the end is that it's going to be equal to cotangent squared times cosine squared. So I'm trying to show that a difference is really equal to a product. So I want to get my proof to a point where I have a product here. Okay? And I'm very close to that point. And now I can take it a couple more steps and separate this into two different fractions. I can say that this is really cosine squared over sine squared times cosine squared over 1. Okay, So separating this one big fraction into two other ones and they're connected by the power, by uh, the multiplication symbol here. Okay, And so this is a multiplication of fractions. But remember what's remember that the definition of cotangent let me uh, adjust my my work here a little bit remember that the definition of cotangent is cosine over sine so cosine squared over sine squared that's another way of saying cotangent squared and of course cosine squared over 1 is just cosine squared and and there you have it. This is by the definition of cotangent. It's really cosine of x over sine of x. Okay. So if you were to have cosine squared over sine squared, that's really cotangent squared. Okay. And there we have it. This is the end of our proof. We started out trying to, we started out with cotangent squared minus cosine squared. We worked through all of these steps right here. Okay, and we got to the point where you have cotangent squared times cosine squared, which is the same thing as the right hand side. So you can say this is now equal to the right hand side. And that ends our proof.